Hey guys and girls, my name's The Gaming Tech. Welcome on into the channel. We're back into Starfield and we're doing a little update video on the uh, Millennium Falcon build I made. Uh, a few comments were on about uh, such a low mobility and stuff like that and I've been away searching for uh, upgrades and different engines and stuff like that so I think we've got a pretty decent build now so I'm going to go through it and let you see uh, what we've all got. The only difference is now I have the level 4 ship building skill uh, so that may make a difference to the ship, it may not, I'm not too sure. We'll see when we get in and have a look at, at the build. So first of all, the parts that I'm using on the ship I've managed to get from one system and it's in the Narian system. You can either get them at the Stroud Eklund Star Yard or, or you can get the ship components from another system right next door to us in the Valo system. And we are heading to the planet Polvo. And it's at the Hope Town City. So you'll get them uh, these other modules at this place as well. Right, let's get ourselves into the builder and have a look what have all changed. Okay, so we're in the builder and I've got it split up into the three sections. Obviously the bottom, middle and top. So everything in the bottom is pretty much the same. The only thing I've done is I've changed the cargo hall. It looked a little bit better than the one I already had. And I also put in a Hope Tech uh, Hab Cross Brace. So basically it's just like a little corridor and I thought it looked a lot better than having the companion pass through. Other than that, the bottom is pretty much the same. Uh, looking at the middle, uh, likes of the the cockpit and uh, that uh, section there, it's all the same. Uh, I have changed uh, some of the internal bays. I've now got the Demius Armoury. I've got two of them side by side. Uh, so we've got a nice long armory. We also have the Demius Engineering Bay, 2x2. Two two, and the uh, Living Quarters as well, 2x2. Two two. And then we've also got an all-in-one berth, the 2x1. I shifted the cargo which I had in this area here. I've changed them to the Stroud Mid Bracers on both sides there. And I've moved the cargo that was there up to there. So you can see there I've put in a bigger fuel tank that needed the Starship rank 4. I think the other two are pretty much the same as what I had. Yeah, obviously I've got the cargo shifted at the rear here. Uh, the new things for the engines, because obviously you can see my mobility is now up at 26, so it's a massive jump. And that's down to these engines here, essentially. The SAE 5550 engines. You can either get them at the Hope Town base or the Stroud Eklund. Obviously, I've had to leave one of these engines in the center. I would love to have had all five engines the same. But because of the PIP limitations, uh, I've had to settle for for one of these ones. So we've got two of the, the big engines, because they need uh, three power. I've got two of the smaller engines, uh, which only need two. And then one of these. The shame of it is, this is the thing that really annoyed me. It's if this one here, if I select this one, if you could have it so there'd be like a center piece, so both the engine parts were the same size, that'd be it, it'd be fine. Then it, all the engines would look the same. But unfortunately, it doesn't do that, which is a bit of a pest. 
And obviously I can't have another one of these engines in the middle because of the, the power. You're limited to your, was it 12 pips, essentially. So yeah, if I try and put an extra one of them in, it's uh, too much. So I've just had to go with that engine the now. Hopefully, maybe later, there might be an upgrade or something. There might even be a mod that uh, mitigates that as well. But that's what I've done. And then, looking at the top section, again, I've not really done too much. Everything's pretty much the same. Uh, I've got the battle station there. And this time I've put a, a computer core there as well. Uh, everything else is all like the, the bracers and stuff. Just to take up some of the room. Obviously you can chop and change things as you wish. This is just my personal preference. So let's just quickly put it back together. It doesn't look bad, really. It is just a pity, a pity about the engines at the rear there. That that's the only thing that really lets lets it down for me is the engines. The other thing that would be pretty good is if you put things like in a, a half, a half movement. Can that could do be coming out a half uh, block? That would have been good for that. So it make it flow a bit better. But again. It looks fine, and of course we've got the, the we've got the mobility now, so that makes a huge difference to the ship. Right, let's uh, jump on out, and we'll go in from the from the landing bay and have a wander around. Let you see what's what it's like inside. Right, we'll just do a quick little run round. See what it's like from the outside. That's the other thing I did do, is I moved the weapons from the top of these little pieces uh, to underneath, so it looks a lot crisper from the top. Other than that, everything looks pretty pretty standard. And obviously, with the engines at the rear. Like I say, it's a shame we couldn't get them all to match. That'd have been amazing. Right, let's get inside. Yeah. So you see here we've got the, this is the companion way or the passageway that we replaced. So it's just a little tunnel, nice and clean. Looks all right. And then we're into the, the cargo bay, which is pretty decent. I quite like the layout of this one. A little bit better than the, the Stroud Eklund one I had. Then obviously up to the next deck. So now facing the front of the ship. There's a the little porthole that I've got in the centre. Yeah, it's looking uh, pretty, pretty neat. Can get through everywhere. No, got ladders everywhere. Some folk never leave their hometown. Then if I head the other way. You keep installing new cool things in your ship. It's like Christmas. <laughs> We've got the two armories. That's one here, and then we've got the other one through. What I might do, because they're pretty much identical, is I'll maybe pick one of the different ones, a different maker, 
just to make it a little bit different, but to be fair, it's not bad. Obviously, that's going out to the hatch, and then up here. Through this way, we've got the it's like control center. This is going into a computer core. So that's the top. Then obviously this end gets us into the cockpit. It's a little window at the back. But the workshop down here, so that's just all the workshop stuff. Then straight through to the cockpit. So it still looks pretty damn cool, to be fair. Red Apogee, surrounded by stars and the vastness of space. Now, it's a lot more maneuverable than what it was before. So it wasn't that maneuverable, to be fair. And it's a lot faster on boost. Right, what I'll do is I'll see if I can get into a combat situation and we'll see what it's like in that as well. Okay, so picked up a combat mission. So we'll just uh, pick that up and get there. My word. Just got to destroy one of the Crimson Fleet ships. Here we go. It's just level four, but this is just to see what the maneuverability is like now. A lot more maneuverable.
definitely more manoeuvrable. Because before that would take a fortnight to turn. There we go. Mission complete. Right, so hopefully that's a, a good little update there, just to let you see what my ship's now like. It certainly does look uh, a little bit better. Like I say, the engines are still a little bit of a pet peeve for me, but can't have everything. Camera skills are terrible. Yeah, turned out all right. Let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know if you've actually built one yourself. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. So, as always, please, if you have liked the video please hit the like button if you haven't already please consider subscribing as always i'll leave a link on the left hand side for the video series and i'll leave a link to the original build video as well on the left hand side there and on the right a link to this channel and obviously my twitch vods channel so hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye for now.